researcher working in manufacturing engineering, day in and day out, it really excites me to think that we are living through the fourth industrial revolution. Well, if you are excited as me, I hope this talk will change your opinion on that. Just imagine the time we are passing now will be in the history books in a few decades' time. How significant is that? And the efforts we are taking today as engineers will not only transform our future, but also the future of our children and the next generations to come. I was further elated when I got to know that this talk on this novel manufacturing paradigm is one of the first talks on the TEDx platform. So this is not simply about the fourth industrial revolution, but about an innovative manufacturing paradigm that will transform the manufacturing industry within the fourth industrial revolution. So it is my absolute privilege to introduce you to the world of cloud manufacturing. I am sure you all are aware that digital transformation, which means digitization and digitalization of different processes has been happening for quite some time. The recent COVID-19 pandemic played its part in accelerating this transformation across manufacturing businesses, as well as all other businesses, big or small. And today, it has become a priority. And let me tell you, at the center of this transformation, you will find the cloud. So whenever I go for conferences or attend talks online, I usually ask this question, what do you think about the cloud? And often I get this answer, we are cloud experts nowadays, aren't we? We use cloud on a day-to-day -day basis to share documents, share videos, store photos, and etc. Yes, it's true. The cloud has reached each and every one of you. Then you may be thinking, what's so special about the cloud then? How can it disrupt an industry like manufacturing? I'm sorry that I had to break this to you. The cloud services that you are using on a day-to-day -day basis is just a tiny fraction of cloud's capabilities. Yet, the cloud is so powerful that none of the companies at present are using its 100%. But the cloud manufacturing concept has a significant potential to use a significant portion of the cloud's capabilities. In fact, big tech companies such as Amazon, Alibaba, Microsoft, have already understood the importance of cloud in intelligent manufacturing and they're already offering services such as AWS Cloud for smart factories, Microsoft Cloud for manufacturing and etc. To give you a better perspective, let me throw some numbers from latest market research. In 2018, the global cloud manufacturing market generated a revenue of nearly $40 billion and it is expected to reach a market value of nearly $112 billion by 2024. As a researcher working in manufacturing, this really excites me. But I have to clarify something here. Even though these reports use the term cloud manufacturing, what they really mean about is cloud-based manufacturing and the emphasis on the word based. What's the big deal, you may ask? Let me explain. Cloud-based manufacturing is when a company utilizes existing cloud capabilities in a manufacturing environment. So isn't it the same as cloud manufacturing? Yes, they're related, but no, they're different at the same time. The cloud manufacturing concept is a novel service-oriented and an intelligent mode of manufacturing. And the theoretical concept has a unique architecture defined by researchers like us comprising five unique layers. However, considering the novelty of the concept, there has been some debate within the academic community on the number of layers. However, for the purpose of this tool, let's use this model. Number one, resource layer. Number two, virtual service layer. Number three, global service layer. Number four, application layer. And number five, interface layer. Now, let me take you through each and every layer one by one to give you better clarity. 
And let's look at this from two points of view. From the manufacturer's point of view, the first layer is the resource layer. This is where different manufacturers can share their manufacturing resources and capabilities onto the cloud platform. What I mean by manufacturing resources is like hard resources such as CNC machines, 3D printers, robotic arms, and then soft resources such as design tools, 3D modeling tools, simulation software, and etc. Then the capabilities can take the form of design capability, simulation capability, experimentation capability of a particular manufacturer at a given time. This has been made possible due to novel technologies such as industrial internet of things, cyber physical systems, digital twins, service oriented technologies, and of course, wireless sensor networks. Then we have the virtual service layer where it identifies the manufacturing resources and capabilities that are shared by different manufacturers and encapsulate them into cloud manufacturing services. From the consumer's point of view, the first layer will be the interface layer, where you can interact, just like, let's say, logging into Uber Eats and browsing through your favorite dishes. And the interface layer enables the consumer to browse through different cloud manufacturing services and resource providers and design your own virtual manufacturing platform on the cloud. On the application layer, you can find dedicated manufacturing application systems such as collaborative design, collaborative supply chain, enterprise resource planning, and etc. And you can access these applications for manual or automatic service configurations. Finally, the global service layer, which is in the middle, as you can see here. It is the hub where requirements of the consumers are matched with the available cloud manufacturing resource providers and cloud manufacturing services using intelligent algorithms real time. There you go. This is how the cloud manufacturing concept operates. Now, you may be thinking, all right, this is a fancy manufacturing concept. But why should we care? Simply because cloud manufacturing brings manufacturing closer to every one of you. And simply put, it will make manufacturing available at your fingertips. Even you can start your own manufacturing business with minimum effort. Let's take an example of a smartphone case. Imagine you wanted to start up a smartphone case manufacturing business offering a full range of customization options for your customers. Well, we all know myriad of companies release hundreds of different models every single year. And when you add the complexity, customizing every single case, it adds layers of complexity to your production line as well as for your production team. All right, let's look at the traditional manufacturing approach. First of all, you must invest in tools, materials, and equipment like injection molding machine, printing machines, and if you want to explore new technologies, then you must invest in new technologies and equipment such as 3D printers. And not to forget, you will need design software with hefty license fees. And finally, you will have to recruit employees to work on them. So, when you add all these things together, it is clear that this is going to cost you thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on the scale of your business. That's not all. You should develop more designs for every single model of every single brand in every single year. And let me tell you, one mold will cost roughly around $2,000 or upwards, but you will not use them for more than a couple of years. Let's assume everything went well according to the plan and you have invested on physical equipment, software and the employees. Now the demand may drop at certain times of the year because the demand is not consistent and varies depending on the release dates of new models. 
As a result, your machines will be idling at certain times or working in limited capacity. When machine utilization and labor productivity come down, it affects your bottom line. In contrast, there can also be spikes in the demand due to popularity and trends at certain times of the year. You will need extra manufacturing equipment and employees. The other option will be to turn down your customers, and I know none of you wants that. In the worst case scenario, if there is a stoppage in your production, let's say due to a machine downtime, your lead times for the customers will increase and they won't be happy. So you will have to either compensate them by providing them discounts or lose returning customers. And I know you don't want that either. So you must be thinking, is there a way to solve these problems? Luckily, there is. And now let's look at the cloud manufacturing scenario, for the same business case, a smartphone case manufacturing business. Listen to me carefully. You do not have to invest in physical equipment at all, not even software. Yes, you heard me right, you do not, except for a computer or a tablet and a router, a desk and a chair. So now you can log into the cloud manufacturing platform using your computer. Then, depending on your requirements, you will be offered with multiple options. Let's say if you are a price sensitive person, then the cloud manufacturing platform can offer you price sensitive manufacturing options. Or if you are a quality oriented person, then the platform can offer that as well. After that, you can select resource providers of your liking by browsing through the available resource providers and design your own virtual manufacturing plot on the cloud. We call this production as a service. If you want to experiment with your design, you can use the experimentation services offered by the cloud manufacturing platform. Now, we call this experimentation as a service. So you don't have to spend money on a mode that will only be used for once for an experiment. If designing is your forte, then you can use the design software through the cloud manufacturing platform as a service. We call this design as a service. And you can make your own designs and manufacture the product with just one mouse click and touch if you are using a tablet, of course. Now, you don't have to worry about hefty licensing fees anymore. If marketing is your forte, then forget about designing and use the experienced design team of the resource provider. We again call this design as a service, but as a capability of the manufacturer. What you have to do now is to upload your requirements with just one mouse click and you will have your product designed just like that. And these are only a few of the cloud manufacturing services and there are plenty more as you can see here. Unlike the traditional manufacturing approach, when you have low demand, you will not be wasting any money with idling physical equipment or maintaining them. But you can just go ahead and pay per use, just like your utility bills, like electricity or water. You will not be facing difficult situations such as laying off workers. If you need more or fewer parts being manufactured, then go ahead and change the order because the cloud manufacturing platform is flexible and elastic in nature so that you can add or remove new service providers as you wish to expand or reduce your capacity. Or how about letting the platform decide it for you using its intelligent algorithms? Well, if you think that is all, you are wrong. You will be able to have complete visibility throughout the entire life cycle of the product and see every single step on the cloud manufacturing platform as a result of digital twin technology. And you will see what parts are being manufactured now and to which customer they belong in real time. You will also see when the order is being complete, packed and shipped to your customer's doorstep while sipping a cup of tea. Now, if there is an issue in the production facility, 
you do not have to worry at all. The cloud manufacturing platform is intelligent to predict production issues and rectify them by adding new service providers as necessary. So it is very clear, cloud manufacturing makes your business a very flexible one. Well, this is one example and smartphone case manufacturing is just one industry, but cloud manufacturing can be applied to many industries around the world, from smartphone cases to aerospace. It is clear how traditional product-oriented manufacturing will be transformed into a truly service-oriented manufacturing by overcoming many of the potential problems in the traditional manufacturing. All innovation comes with some challenges. And let me address the elephant in the room, the jobs. I know this question was lingering in your mind as soon as you heard about the robots. So does this mean we are going to lose our jobs to some robots? Yes and no. I must be straight here. Yes, of course, some of the jobs will be lost due to end-to-end -end automation. But hear me up, it will create millions of new jobs. So basically, it is up to the manufacturers to help their workforce upskill or reskill depending on the requirements. So no, you will have plenty of jobs, but it will require a bit of knowledge than before. So let me tell you a secret. Start learning new skills now. For an example, a study by Deloitte and the Manufacturing Institute in the US points out that the cost of manufacturing skill gap in the digital age is potentially reaching a mind-boggling $1 trillion in 2030 alone. Lastly, COVID-19 has accelerated digitization in manufacturing organizations by years, and these are facts. So, it is obvious that end-to-end -end automation is much closer to you than you think. And as a researcher working on cloud manufacturing, I can assure you, with the widespread application of this innovative manufacturing paradigm, manufacturing will soon be available at your fingertips. Thank you.